Hi everyone, we're going to do shared reading all together today. It's going to look a little bit different this week to last week. So let's have a go of it together today. And then after today, you're going to do this by yourself. So if you've had a look at the slides for shared reading, you'll see that your challenge this week is to read between the lines, which we talked a lot about last term. We talked about looking at the illustrations and thinking about the hidden meaning behind the words to try to work out extra information about the book. And that's called inferring when we do that. I'm going to show you how I do that today. Your challenge for each day this week is to think about what is happening in the world at the time and how it affects each child. So in the book of My Place, we've been going back in time, every time by 10 years. And today we'll see the story of Jen. We're going to read the story together today. And I'd like you to have a think about what might have been happening in 1948, just based on some of the clues in the story. So have a look at the illustrations now. And you can see that people are dressed quite similarly to how we dress today, but a little bit, um, maybe a little bit more formal as well. Let's have a look. 1948. My name's Jen and this is my place. I'm eight and a half. I live with mum and grandpa and auntie Bridie. And now there's my new dad. My real dad's dead. He went to the war before I was born so I never even saw him. But mum says I've got his hair. When mum married my new dad, we had a party. Uncle Paddy and Uncle Cole came and Miss Miller from next door and the Malcolms from the other side. Miss Miller's going to be 90 next year. My new dad's got a car. It's green. This is a map of my place. Mum says when she was a kid, there used to be heaps more shops. They're knocking the haunted house down. But Miss Miller yelled at them and made them promise not to touch the big tree. She told them, I've got a swing in it. At the bottom of the street, there's a canal. The council's built a fence, but it always seems to get holes in it. Sometimes I fish down there, but I never catch anything. This is me and Soxy. Dad says we might move out to the western suburbs soon and get a house with a big yard all around it but I think Soxy would hate it. He likes how it smells here. Okay, if we have a look at this first paragraph here, there's a really big clue as to something that has just happened in the world. I'm using what I know, but you don't actually need to know anything to be able to infer that a war has just happened. So Jen is only eight and a half and it says that her dad died in the war before she was born. So there must have been a war about eight and a half to nine years ago. So I know that World War II ended in 1945, but it was must have been going on for some time before that. So that's one thing that I can infer from this page. The other thing that I've noticed in this paragraph here is that Jen talks about how her dad has a car. Now, everybody has cars today. Every, every mum and dad has got a car. But the fact that Jen mentions that her new dad has got a car means that cars must be pretty new. If she mentions it, it must be something that's a little bit unusual. So something that I can infer is that maybe cars are new and that people are starting to get cars. Okay, the third thing that I can infer from here is that in this area, lots and lots of work is going on. So she talks all about how they're building, how there's lots of changes, they're putting up a fence, so they're knocking down houses. And maybe because of all of these changes, that might be why dad is saying that they're going to move.